You know, when I had first started coaching people on helping them to improve their life, after they had seen some of the results from the strategies I put into action, the number one thing I was surprised to hear people say that was the specific barrier to them having the life they want or to doing the things they know would make their life better was motivation. And I was really surprised to hear that motivation, discipline, willpower, I guess I'm just lazy. These buzzwords kept coming up over and over and over again. You know, and even on my channel here, some of the top videos are all about laziness and motivation. Now, having gotten to where I am, I don't think everything is about just working hard and just pushing. So I thought in this video today, I would share two strategies that you can use that are the exact opposite to reach your goals in life. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the weird book, Milk the Pigeon on how to figure out what to do with your life. Before we jump in, check out the link right below this video, which is for a free goal setting worksheet that will help you figure out how to have the best year ever of your life. All right, you can check it out right there below. Now, early on in my self growth quest, I felt the same thing that so many people feel. You know, if I wanna get fit, I wanna get a serious long-term relationship, I want to have more friends, I wanna travel, I wanna have more money, I wanna get a raise, but I don't really wanna do any of it. So what exactly am I supposed to be doing on a daily basis, right? Who doesn't wanna be fit? Who doesn't wanna have the ideal person they're dating? Who doesn't wanna have lots of money in the bank so they feel safe? Who doesn't wanna travel to Italy every summer, right? But not everyone does that. And why is a complicated question with a complicated answer. Now, for me, though, I realized early on, you know, I read this great article that Tony Robbins was cited in, he was quoted in. Now, it was around the time of the early days of LinkedIn where they were publishing content online. And they said they were interviewing influential people on the best advice they got in their 20s. When Tony Robbins was asked, he said, you know, you can push a lot of things uphill in your 20s. In fact, you can push almost anything into making it happen. But pushing will is an energy that will never last. And eventually, you have to find something that pulls you. Now, not too far later, I read this book by the creator of the Dilbert comics. And in this book, he talks about this one principle that was the most influential principle in his life as someone who was trying to become rich and famous, his words. And he said, he calls it the energy metric. So when he was working a full-time job and he was trying to build a business in the part-time hours, how did he keep himself disciplined knowing that almost all those businesses were going to fail, but maybe one would work out? And he said, the energy metric is simple. Basically what you do is you choose to work on the business that you are the most energized by. Because at the end of a full day of work, you're not going to want to work on a business that's hard. And as someone who worked for over three and a half years before he made enough money from Modern Health Monk to quit his day job, I can tell you, working seven days a week and coming home every night to work on a project that sucks, not that fun. And probably 0.00001% of people will actually make it. If you imagine, you go home at 6 or 7 p.m., you do whatever you gotta do, and then from 8 until 11, you work on your passion project or your business. I did that seven days a week for three years only saw my girlfriend on the weekends at the time. So if you are willing to pay that price, I'm confident you'll get anything you want in life. But most of us aren't. So what do we do? That experience about the Tony Robbins, my own experience, Dilbert, made me realize you can reach goals in two ways, which are really this polarity, the opposite sides of the spectrum. One is push goals and pull goals. And you can decide consciously ahead of time what strategy you are going to use to reach your goals. And so I decided that, guess what? Business was going to be my push goal. I was going to have to push myself every night to do it. And so having primed myself ahead of time, I would remind myself I had to come up with a ritual before coming home to work on my business because I wasn't that motivated to do it. And what I ended up doing was every night before I worked on my business, I would eat dinner at the office, I would go work out for an hour, and then I would go to my favorite 24-hour cafe. So because it was a push goal, I had to come up with a ritual or a series of rituals that made that easier. For me, the gym, leaving where I live, getting out to a cafe was the ritual. So if it's a push goal, you may have to come up with a series of rituals and habits you stack together to get something done. It may be external accountability, it may be internal. Now the other thing was pull goals. There are going to be some things in your life that naturally draw you and a lot of things that don't. 
And I decided that, you know what? One of the things I was really excited to do was I always wanted to write a book. And so because there was that inner calling for it, you know, it was a lot like this goal was sitting down at the dinner table with a girl I knew right away I was into. I felt it. So it wasn't hard for me to put in a lot of effort towards something that I felt that inner draw towards. So for my book, I still had to be disciplined. I still had to come up with a ritual. And so for me, the first half of my evening ritual became, I'm going to go to that cafe out of my house and I'm going to work on this book. But I think the big lesson here is that some things in life you will have to push and some things will pull you. And just understanding how much of my life is push, how much of my life is pull, and then trying to maybe organize that ratio so that you have more of your life pulling you, drawing you, exciting you, it's magnetic, and less of your life you have to push. Well, at the same time, understanding sometimes you're just going to have to be a fighter. And if it's like me, then maybe you're going to have to do a whole ritual before you do that one thing you know will improve your life, but you're having a hard time really doing it. Long story short, think about, is this a pull goal or is it a push goal? And if it's hard, what system can I set up to make it a little bit easier? All right, you guys. So before you go, download the free guide down below, which is a free worksheet on how to have the best year ever of your life. And then before you go, I have two related videos for you here.